Fire officials are investigating a house fire in western Sioux Falls that left a woman dead and a man in the hospital. Kendall Van Sarah McDonald talks with an investigator and a neighbor who says he's never seen anything like it. Authorities have not released the name of the victim. A man who was able to get out of the house was injured and taken to the hospital. His condition is unknown. I stopped by the scene earlier today and spoke with neighbors about what happened. Investigators spent the day on scene of the deadly house fire, trying to figure out exactly what happened. Crews responded to the house on the 5700 block of West 15th Street just before midnight. Responded to a single family home, uh, two story, uh, had fire coming from the back side of the home. Brian Kenobi lives just down the street. So I was just sitting watching TV and I heard sirens coming and they got closer and they got closer and they got closer. And I'm like, well, that looks like it's going to be on my street. And then I saw the lights flashing at the house through the blinds. And so I poked my head out and the fire, there's police cars behind me on this side of me, cop and fire trucks down on that end. And I look out and there's just flames shooting out of the top of the house. Battalion Chief Mike Topp says there were reports of flames reaching 20 feet when they arrived. Crews struggled to get inside. The made entry, I believe, from the front side of the house, tried to make entry there first, were unable to do it, so they tried to make entry from the back side of the house and then again pushed back. Um, then they attacked it from the outside, trying to quiet the fire down. They got the fire quieted down and then made entry that, that third time, were able to get up to the second floor. Now crews are investigating what happened. Never seen anything like that in person before out of house. See it on TV and see it on the news and stuff, but never that close in person. The cause of the fire is under investigation. A dog also died in the fire as well. Well, thank you, Sarah.